Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Learn to read a woman's social class. Learn to read a woman's social class. This is very important. And shout out to Master Teacher BGS for introducing the Octane model. Shout out to Cousin t for his work on um, the, uh, you know, enhancing the Octane model. And what he's talked about, check out their videos on the Octane model because the Octane model is based on different classes of women. Indeed, on my ROM TV site, and I'll give a general link to that, I have a series talking about just reading women in general, but definitely a series on classes of women. That's very important. That's very important because... As I've said, as I've said, I've said definitely Cousin t and ultimately Master Teacher BGS have talked about class means a big deal. Because if you know a woman's social class, you have a general, let me emphasize the word, general idea of how she will behave. Indeed, any professional sociologist will tell you these social classes are also is a very strong indicator of the person's behavior because social classes are subcultures within themselves. There's a big difference between in the behavior of someone who has to struggle for food, struggle for substance, versus someone who has more food than they need. They, they live in a big old mansion that got three kitchens and a staff, and they can go to, mo- to the most expensive uh, restaurants. There's a big difference in their behavior. There's a big difference in the behavior of someone who might not be able to afford medical care, medical insurance. They have to fight. If their teeth get jacked up, they pretty much just got to live with it. They can't afford braces or something versus somebody who has enough money to get braces, get regular dental things, get, get, if they have to, can get a fake. Usually they don't because they have great dental care. They take care of it better. There's a big difference. All of those little things and the clothes they wear, how they interact, how they keep their weight on. Like, uh, let me give a great example. People talk about the wall. People always talk, men always talk about the women hitting the wall, but as I discussed in my ROM TV series, Classes of Women, different classes hit that wall at different times. Like the very poor, very poor women hit that wall quick. That's why you'll see a woman, you ask her how old she is, she'd be like 22, but she looked like she about 35. That's because they went through some stuff. Versus women who are from very rich backgrounds, I mean, they can be old and gray. You'd be like, damn, you're in great shape. The only only real indication of their age is gray hair. That's the only real indication. You'd be looking at them like, wow. But it's because of their social class and everything. Now, it's important to read a woman's social class because I'm going to tell you what. There's this always talk about hypergamy. Hypergamy, true hypergamy, is when a woman moves up in social class. That's hypergamy, moves up in social class. But, and as I've consistently said, the women who can do that the best are the very attractive ones. Now, I've caught some stuff from some women say, well, I'm average looking, I moved up, they lying. Um, I'm going to tell you why they lying. I'm going to tell you why. If they don't show their face, they don't like what they look like. And they'll say, I had one woman, she hit me up privately talking about, yeah, I got a rich man and stuff. And I'm like, okay, all right, I don't believe you, but okay. Because let's be real, most women stay within their social class. Now, the closest thing they might come to hypergamy is getting the highest person, try to get the highest man in that particular class. But they stay. Because think about relationships, women want to be with somebody they relate to in most cases. That's the general thing. They can relate to somebody in their particular social class. Like, for example, say someone is from the working class, right? Say somebody's from the working class, a woman's from the working class. Usually what she does for fun, you know, she spends time with family, check. You know, they have barbecues, check. She plays spades, check. Might drink a little, smoke a little and everything, check. Okay, that's cool. That's what she like to do. How's she going to deal with a man who, 
he ain't, he ain't from that background. He ain't never played spades in his life. He don't be going to barbecues and stuff. He, shoot, he's from upper middle class family. They be having nice, cool, and calm gatherings if they do. Then they might talk about some deeper subjects, even if it's a, a party, a gathering. They carrying themselves with a certain level of behavior. Those two, even if they find each other physically attractive, they will not be able to relate on other things because a relationship is more than just sexual attraction. That just gets you over there. When you're talking about relating, y'all two got to be able to do stuff together. Y'all got to have the same, uh, not just the values, but just the like, just going on a date. You know, you get the guy from the upper class, his idea of a date is going to a, a piano recital, piano recital, and then going to, a, a, you know, or going to a ball or something where everybody is dressed well and, you know, they're on a higher, they're on a higher plane on what they're talking about. You know, versus going to, you know, just some party where everybody just laughing and hooping it up and everything like that. It's, it's different. It's different. And women in general want to be comfortable. That's why I say, you know, people can talk to hypergamy all they want, but ultimately, ultimately, women want that guy who they can relate to. And indeed, a few times when there are those situations where, um, you know, somebody might uh, hook up with somebody from a different class. A lot of those relationships actually have problems. People don't want to talk about that. People don't want to talk about that. But they have problems because on smaller levels, they don't relate. So as far as reading a woman's social class, a man needs to practice that. How does he do that? The best way to do is live. There's no real, well, you could probably find some books that talk about it. But honestly, it's just to get out there. The first thing is knowing what your social class is. And it's not based on money. It's not based on money, believe it or not. You know, or solely on money. A lot of times people try to use that, but let's just be real. You have some people who have a more upper class mentality, and they might be making, you might be making good money, got a job, all that, you know, good career. But someone from the working class could actually be richer, money wise. You do have six-figure, even seven-figure guys who are working class. But what they do otherwise. See, class is bigger than the money. It's the behavior, what you like to do and everything. You know, even who you find attractive. Even who you find attractive. That's a very key thing. That's a very key thing. So reading a woman's social class. Now, other than, um, you know, seeing some videos from... Uh, Master Teacher BGS and Cousin Tito or even seeing the stuff I have on ROM TV. Just get out there. First, know your own class and then pay attention. Just pay attention. When you're in that situation, you pay attention. Pay attention to their behavior. One thing I would say, one thing I would say, if you're not like already upper class, if you're not upper class, find out where in the city you live in you probably know where the more high heel people are, the richer people are. Go look for the mall in that area and walk around and just take a look at the people. Seriously, take a look at the people. Like, people know I'm in the Baltimore area. So, I might, one day I might, you know, on a weekend, I might go to uh, Towson uh, Town Center and see what, how the people look as they walking through there. And then on another time, I might go to East Point Mall. Look at it like when you go to like malls or neighborhoods, look at this, look at the people, just pay attention to the people. Look at the haircuts, look at how they move, uh, look how they adorn themselves. You know, for example, up more upper class women, it's very, very, very rare to see tattoos. The tattoos start, dis it's like tattoos start disappearing as a woman moves up in class, piercing, stuff like that, right? Pay attention how they wear their hair, how they cut their hair. If you have a chance, listen to how they speak. Listen to their voice intonation. This goes across races. Let me be clear on that. Listen to all of that. You, you got to get out there. You got to get out there. Pay attention to, if you're driving through different neighborhoods, pay attention to the different stores there, the different establishments. Um, pay attention. Always pay attention. If you can, save up, like if you ain't on that upper class, save up some money one time and go to a, a real upper class restaurant. 
just go there. Just go there. Uh, like I said, save up some money. Trust me. Pay attention how everyone's behaving. Pay attention to behavior, period, and then you'll start learning. You know, you got to you gotta learn, all right? So that's important because here's the thing. Like I said, most women stay within their social class. So you need to know where you at first and then know who you're dealing with. And if you don't like it, if you don't like where you at, well, then work to move your ass up. Work to move up to a better class. Listen to how they talk, how they respond and everything, you know? Seriously. Because, you know, myself, and I've I've told about my background before and everything. My speech intonation, if if I have to be in a situation where I'm dealing with, like, working class women, is vastly different from a situation where I'm dealing with upper class women. My whole speech intonation, behavior and how I am and everything. Like, if I'm dealing with upper class women, more intellectual, more chilled, if I'm dealing with, like, lower class women, um, I'm going hard. I'm going hard. You got to be direct with them. Look them in the eye. You got to be straight. You can't be on some bullshit. So, but the thing is, learn to read it. And like I said, the only way you can effectively do it is really get out there. Go to different places. Don't be afraid to go to different places. You got to get out there. All right? And you just got to experience it. So, anyway, that's all I got for today, y'all. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.